Makita na po yung screen mo. Yes. Go. <clears throat> okay, good, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Um, today, we are tasked to discuss the experiment one, the use of Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is an extremely convenient source of heat for the chemical laboratory. It was designed by Robert Bunsen more than 100 years ago when he was a researcher at the University of Heidelberg in Germany. He needed a flame that was steady, clean, and hot, and these are all things that ordinary yellow flames are not. Ordinary flames are sooty and burn at low temperatures, not to mention how they flicker. Bunsen's burner burns blue and very hot because it is designed to completely combust the gas without producing soot. It can do this because it mixes the gaseous fuel with air before it starts to burn. The burner you will use may have two valves. One of them controls the amount of fuel delivered to the barrel and the other controls the amount of air. If you have a different type of burner, then there is only one control built into the barrel. The sliding perforated sleeve controls the amount of air that the fuel mixes with. In this laboratory, you will learn how to operate either type of burner properly. The materials needed in this activity would be water, chocolate, 50 grams of chocolate, four egg, four, ano to? egg whites, timer, 500 ml beaker, Bunsen burner, iron stand gauze, test tube rack, and two test tubes and a tripod. Later, pa, sa procedure, malalaman nyo kung saan sila ginamit or paano sila gagamitin. To visualize the Bunsen burner, this is the Bunsen burner. Um, uh, you can see at the bottom part or uh, near the base, adjacent to the base is the gas valve that allows the flow of the gas, of the gas uh, to light the burner. And then the air valve or the air um, collar here is at the, um, it colors the barrel of the burner. It allows the flow of the air to completely combust to the gas. Okay, next is the procedure of how to set up a Bunsen burner. Step one, make sure that the gas tap is in the off position. Second, firmly attach the other end of the rubber tubing to the gas valve tap. Step three, make sure that the air supply valve is closed by rotating it. You may notice another valve at the bottom of the burner. Do not touch this valve as it controls how much gas is released into the burner. Step four, ask your teacher to see if you have properly set up the apparatus. Now that you have clearly set up your Bunsen burner, your teacher will turn into the main gas tap. How to turn off a Bunsen burner? Step one, turn the gas valve into off position. Step two, close air supply by screwing in tight. Step three, clean off lab bench. Guys, always remember when you're done already using the Bunsen burner, always clean the area kung saan nyo siya ginamit just to prevent um, incidents kung saan pa di pa mag-light up ng fire or other more incidents na pwede mangyari inside the lab. How to light a Bunsen burner? First, put safety goggles on. Step 1. Light a match. Try strike match away from body. Step two. Turn gas valve into on position. Step three. Open air supply valve slightly. Step four. Wait, step four. Light the burner at the top of the barrel. To properly demonstrate the setting up, the lighting, and the turning off of 
a Bunsen burner. I will show you a video first. Wait. Um, The Bunsen burner is a great way of heating up substances in a controlled way, but it must be used with care. A handy way of remembering how to light a Bunsen burner safely is set a light. Let's see what this means. S is for safety, which always comes first. Make sure you're wearing a lab coat and safety glasses. Tie back long hair and clear your bench of anything that's flammable, meaning that it could catch on fire. E is for edge. Place the burner on a heat-proof mat a safe distance from the edge of the bench. T is for tube. Check that the rubber tube is free of cracks. Connect the tube firmly to the gas tap. Make sure the tap is in the off position. Remember, the off position makes an L shape. A is for air hole. The air hole is located at the bottom of the barrel, near the base. It can be opened or closed by turning a metal ring called the collar. This controls the amount of air and oxygen that mixes with the gas. The more oxygen, the hotter the flame. Always make sure that the air hole is closed before lighting the burner. Okay, you're ready to light the match and hold it above the barrel. Finally, you can turn on the gas. It's important to light the match first to avoid releasing dangerous gas into the air. You should always follow these six steps when lighting a Bunsen burner. Now you've successfully lit the Bunsen burner, you should begin with a bright yellow flame. This is called the safety flame because it's easy to see and isn't as hot as the full flame. To get a hotter flame, we need to mix in more air. To do this, turn the collar to open the air hole. You will now have a blue flame with a bright blue inner core. The hottest part of the blue flame is here at the tip of the cone. There are three more safety rules for using the Bunsen burner while it's lit. If you need to move the burner, hold it by the base. Don't touch it any higher than the collar. Never leave a lit Bunsen burner unattended. And if anything goes wrong, turn off the gas tap immediately. Okay, so you've finished your experiment. Before turning off the Bunsen burner, close the air hole first to return to the safety flame. Now you can turn off the tap and blow out any small flame that remains. Disconnect the hose and leave the Bunsen burner to cool before packing it away. Good afternoon traders, this is Anthony Esguera from Learn to Trade Philippines. Latest news just in. Learn to Trade Philippines. The controls of a Bunsen, Bunsen burner setup. Set up the Bunsen burner as described from above. Yung mga sasabihin ko dito is based siya doon sa binigay ni ma'am na activity, pati yung mga photos and pictures doon. So if ever gusto nyo makita, doon na lang po kayo mag-base. So again, set up the Bunsen burner as described from above. Fill the beaker with water to 400 ml. Set up the stand and the beaker as shown in figure 3. Then, make sure the wire mesh, or known as gauze, is on top of metal ring and below beaker. So, yung purpose ng gauze is para hindi siya directly napupunta yung heat doon sa beaker and may iwasan yung pagbutok ng beaker just in case. Effect of air supply on boiling rate. The procedures are step 1, open the air valve accordingly. Step 2, light the Bunsen burner. Step 3, place filled beaker on stand and begin timing. Step 4, as soon as you see when the, when the water starts to boil or rolling boil, stop your timer and record your result. Step 5, 
wait for water to cool off and empty and fill it with new water. And the last step is repeat steps one to five for the remaining turns. For the physical and chemical change um, activity, the procedure are to uh, number one, add cold water to the beaker until it is about one third full and place it on the tripod and goes. Two, place a test tube with egg white and a test tube with chocolate in a beaker. And then three, heat the beaker of water with the test tubes carefully until the water in the beaker boils. Um, the method being used here is parang um, uh, water bath siya, boiling water bath to to see the physical and chemical changes on the chocolate and the egg whites. Allow the water to boil gently for about five minutes. Watch what happens to the egg white and the chocolate in the tubes while they are being heated. Five, turn off the Bunsen burner and use the test tube holder to transfer the tubes to the rack to cool. Six, watch what happens to the egg white and the chocolate in the tubes as they cool. Next is the schematic diagram of the procedure. Okay, this is a schematic diagram of how to set up a Bunsen burner. First is make sure that the gas tap is in the off position and then firmly attach the end of gas, the end of the rubbing, rubbing tubing to the gas valve tap. And then make sure that the air supply valve is closed by rotating it. You may notice the another valve at the bottom of the burner. And do not touch this valve as it controls how much the gas is released into the burner. And then lastly, you ask your teacher to see if you have properly demonstrated the, I set up the apparatus. Now that you have set up your apparat, your Bunsen burner, the teacher will turn on the main gas stop. Next is to how to light a Bunsen burner. First things first, you put your safety glass on, of course, to protect to protect you from any potential harm chemicals may cause in your eyes during the experiment. And then light a match on, turn the gas valve into on position, open air supply valve slightly, and then light the burner at the top of the barrel. And how to turn off the Bunsen burner? Turn gas valve to off position, close air supply by screwing it, and then clean off love bench. Uh, in addition to what Mr. Delgado said earlier about cleaning off the love bench, it ensures that the cleanliness of your love bench after doing some experiment ensures that there is no um, leftover dirt or other materials that may contaminate the next project or the next experiment in the laboratory. Questions. Number one, what do I have to do to make sure that I am well protected in this lab? The answer is, wearing the complete PPE should be the first priority while doing the activity because it will make you protected. Next, make sure that the lab bench is clean and clear to avoid hindrances in conducting experiments. Checking the equipment before starting any laboratory activities must be done to ensure that it is working properly. Being knowledgeable enough about the procedure and correct usage of equipment can prevent you from getting risk of any injury. Next. Number two, you may have noticed that there are two valves on the Bunsen burner. In the first experiment, you saw that the effect, the effect of the air intake valve had on the boiling rate of water. What would happen on the boiling rate of water if you were to adjust the gas the intake valve instead? The answer is, it will cause the height or volume of the flame to increase. However, 
it would also affect or slower the boiling rate of the water, considering that increasing the gas intake would make the flame unstable and lower the flame temperature since it would turn into a yellow flame. Given that there is now a higher or equal amount of gas and oxygen for a flame to be stable and maintain high temperature, there must be a higher amount of oxygen than gas. Next. Number three. What would happen to a lit Bunsen burner if A, all the air in the room was sucked out? The Bunsen burner wouldn't be able to produce a flame given the reason that the oxygen is highly needed in producing one. Without it, the production of the flame wouldn't be possible. Next, what would happen to a lit Bunsen burner if B, the main gas bulb, turned off? The answer is, if the main gas bulb is turned off, the gas would stop. The lit Bunsen burner will cease to have a gas supply and the flame will probably disappear since the gas bulb controls the amount of oxygen related to the burner. Next, what would happen to a lit Bunsen burner if the amount of air in the room doubled? The answer is, increasing the airflow to the burner produces more complete combustion and a hotter flame. This will result in a noisy, bluish-colored flame considered as the highest possible temperature or blue flame. Sometimes, when the airflow is being adjusted, the flame may be blown. Number So this is the post lab output of the first um, activity, the effect of air supply on um, boiling rate. When the um, air intake valve is fully closed, um, uh, sa flame niya, um, it is luminous flame or yellow flame. Um, it is less hot. And then unstable flame siya kay nag-flicker siya, uh, nag siya without the ano, presence of the oxygen. And then clearly visible siya kay lumin uh, luminous siya during uh, fully, fully closed na valve. And then if it is one-fourth open, the valve, if the air intake valve is one-fourth open, um, it's still luminous flame, less hot, but it is um, slightly unstable flame na siya kay na medyo na open naman siya gamay. But still clearly visible siya. When the air intake valve is opened in half, um, non-luminous flame na ang maproduce niya or blue, word, uh, blue na siya compared to the um, luminous flame. And then hotter na siya, um, high na yung temperature, stable na yung flame, and then slightly visible na siya. Uh, when, when we say stable flame na siya, um, mapansin niyo ni siya kay kanang mag-produce good siya o kanang marag noise pag... Uh, may air na siya, and then uh, dili, wala na siya ga flicker. And then, if it is three-fourth open, still, nanluminous siya, uh, blue, blue flame pa rin, hotter, um, stable flame, and then uh, not clearly visible. Um, kasi uh, the luminous flame is uh, way visible than the non-luminous flame. And then, when it is open fully, um, still, uh, non-luminous flame pa rin siya, very hot ng kanyang temperature, then stable um, flame siya, and then not clearly visible. Um, ang answer na mo diri, ang answer na mo diri as a uh, uh, column na, like, is gibase lang na mo dito as a video nga pag how to set up the Bunsen burner and how to light it. And then, mapansin niyo na wala yung answer mo ang time to reach boiling point kasi um, wala dyan may makita na video na, 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 na ma-demonstrate ang kaning activity. From your observations, what can you determine is the relationship between the air intake valve and the, or the air intake and the time it takes to boil the water? <clears throat> The amount of oxygen required for complete combustion on a Bunsen burner is controlled by air intake valve. 
the flame produced when the valve is fully closed is yellow or luminous, which is less hot than a non-luminous flame. However, when the air intake valve is open, the blue flame or the non-luminous flame becomes more stable and hotter, causing the water to boil faster. Therefore, the higher the air intake, the hotter the flame and the faster the boiling rate. Our observation in the two samples given are the chocolate will melt or liquefies on boiling water and solidifies after cooling. Chocolate is an example of physical change and we all know that physical change are usually reversible. Since chocolate is physical change, it is a reversible one. Egg white will solidify on boiling water and remain solidified after cooling. Egg white is an example of chemical change and we also know that chemical change are usually irreversible. Since egg white is chemical change, we conclude that it is an irreversible one. Um, the conclusion for this activity is um, we have explored the usage of the the usage and the function of the Bunsen burner in the laboratories. Um, we have also learned the thorough step by step procedure on setting up, lighting, and turning off the Bunsen burner. We also got to visualize the procedures through the videos presented, um, despite the unfortunate chance to perform it in the laboratory. Um, we have also um, able to differentiate the purpose of the gas valve and the air valve of Bunsen burner and its effect on the boiling rate of the heated substance. Additionally, we, we have observed the physical and chemical changes of the substances being heated on Bunsen burner. Overall, this activity is creative and enlightening because it gave us um, complete visualization of the Bunsen burner and its uses. That's all. Oh, thank you. Okay, sige. Uh, do, not, do not unshare na lang. I'll be requesting a remote control sa imong screen. Jamal. Okay po. I'll be controlling this. Ibalik na sa sinugdan. So actually, this experiment number one is supposedly to be conducted sa school. But yes, it is an unfortunate that we cannot really do that given na hindi pa natatapos ang pandemic. So we will just um, study the different parts of the Bunsen burner, how to set up the Bunsen burner and how to use it. And ano na lang, concept na lang yung ating um, learn so far. So again, this is entitled The Use of the Bunsen Burner. So um, dugay na kayo ni siya na discover na itong Bunsen Burner. And until now, we are still using this sa laboratory, especially during heating, if we want to boil something, until now ginagamit natin si Bunsen burner. So, um, let me continue. So, this one is the Bunsen burner here. Um, if, during the prelim, we have actually discussed this kasi included naman siya sa laboratory apparatus natin. Let's just review the different parts of our Bunsen Burner. So this part here sa baba, let me, okay, this part here sa baba is our base and this one holds the Bunsen burner together. Now we have um, valves here uh, for the actually gas valve ito dito. And this should be connected to a rubber tubing and then iko-connect mo siya doon sa source ng gas natin. So yung gas is Yung ginagamit din natin magluto, like the chilein and the gasol, mga, mga organic gases natin, yun pa rin yung ginagamit to light up the Bunsen burner. And then you have there the air hole. Diyan papasok yung air. Because remember, in the types of chemical reaction, when you say combustion, mangyayari lang yan kapag ka merong oxygen involved. So yung carbon containing substance natin is yung gas and then you have the oxygen to produce the flame. So again, dyan papasok si oxygen sa air hole. So you can close or open that. 
depende sa gusto mong flame na ma-produce. And this part here, uh, by the way, the one that is used to close and open the air hole is called the collar. That is the air regulator. And this part here is the body of our Bunsen burner. We call it either the barrel or the chimney. And right above the barrel or the chimney, that is where we produce the flame. So this one is a blue flame. We call it non-luminous flame. And meron yan siyang outer corn outer cone, sorry, the, the flame, ha? And then we have the inner cone. The inner cone plus is the hottest part of the flame. So take note of that. The hottest part of the flame is right above the inner cone. The, again, that is our um, Bunsen burner, the parts of our Bunsen burner. Now, the reporters have shown you a video on how to operate how to operate the Bunsen burner but let me just continue with the schematic diagram para ma-summarize natin yung ating procedure. Now how to set up a Bunsen burner? Uh, make sure class na the rubber tubing is connected to a gas source and that the gas source is first should be off. Kailangan off siya muna and then uh, pag na-attach mo na yung rubber tubing, syempre, um, the next step is to close the air hole. Pag mag-ano class, mag-on tayo ng Bunsen burner, dapat off muna yung, o, o close muna yung air hole kasi the yellow flame is actually called the safety flame and it's less hot compared to the blue one. So muna nga, i-close sa agyod na to na siya. Okay? Um, and then, after that, pag ma-set up na ninyo, pwede na nato ilight at ang Bunsen burner. So natay mga safety precaution ha kasi we are dealing with flame here. So make sure that you are wearing your complete protective equipment or PPEs. Now after that, you have to light a match and then i-turn on mo muna yung gas source mo. After that, Siyempre, ilagay mo yung match doon sa top ng barrel or ng chimney. And then, um, open the air supply valve para mag-light siya. Pero kung gusto na ni mo siya i-turn off, ang imo lang himoon is to actually turn the gas valve off. I-close po na ni mo ang imuhang air supply. Ha? So, i-close ni mo ang, ang, ang air hole. Tapos, i-off ni mo ang gas source, and then ipa-cool down lang sa nimo ang imuhang Bunsen burner before ka mang limpyo sa imuhang table. So those are the procedure class in operating the Bunsen burner. Now we have relevant prelab questions here which um, I believe na answer ng ating reporters na number one, what do I have to do to make sure that I am well protected in this laboratory uh, in this lab? So, syempre, ang um, pinakita kanina din sa video, you have to make sure na naka protective equipment ka with your lab gowns. Please, if you are going to purchase your lab gown, please do not um, purchase a lab gown na nakabutones gani kay lisod na siya hubuon. So for example, your lab gown has caught or has caught fire. So kung nakabutones, magudlisod kay siya hubuon, niya nasunog na ka. Muna ang ideal gud na lab gown is kanang ginatouch lang good si tawagan na I'm not really familiar with with the name. Sa kanang gina-attach lang para dali good siya matanggal. And then you have your mask if you are heating chemicals na may mga fumes and ang fume is makadaot sa lawas. Siyempre, you have to wear your mask. And then you have to wear your goggles also, especially during lighting of the, of the Bunsen burner. We have the so-called laboratory um, goggles. And then, and since we are dealing with chemicals in the laboratory, you have to wear gloves also. Atong kagaina kay boiling of water lang man to. So sometimes, pag nag-boil of water, wala sila nagagamit o gloves. Pero class, if sa laboratory mag-deal na tagdaghang chemicals, you really need to wear your gloves. Um, and then, we also have the so-called laboratory shoes. So before tamo balik o face-to-face, make sure na masecure na ninyo na mga equipment. Ang laboratory shoes class, you can buy it sa mga nagasupply supply o medical supplies. 
kay lisod magud kung wala mo nag laboratory shoes pwede mo ma ma-slide sa tuang laboratory if you are just wearing your ordinary shoes or kana mga shoes ninyo nga open or kung Wednesday di ba pag Wednesday sa sa doctors wala na ga uniform so wash day basta Wednesday so you can wear anything you want to wear <laughs> as long as pasudlon mo sa garwa mo nag short pant so kung naka sandals mo dili pud pwede class nga mag-experiment ang naka sandal mo example magkaroon og spillage class sa ato ang chemicals ni maadto sa inyong tiil kay naka sandal mo pwede magkaroon og um, effect na sa imong skin kung corrosive ang ato ang chemical so be sure to be protected in the laboratory by wearing the prescribed um, personal protective equipment and please do not play with chemicals do not play with the bunsen burner this one is hot so do not touch the chimney especially or the barrel if you want to move the bunsen burner just use the base to move the bunsen burner and before cleaning up you have to make sure na naka cool down na ang bunsen burner so this is for the number one question now let's move on to the second one, you may have noticed that there are two bulbs on the Bunsen burner. In the first experiment, you saw the effect um, the air intake valve had on the boiling rate of water. Though wala mo tayong experiment, no? What would happen to the boiling rate of water if you were to adjust the gas intake valve instead? So, di ba, we have the color. Ato na siyang ginagamit to regulate the air, to close and open the air hole. Just take note, class, na sa combustion, complete combustion happens if you have enough air supply. So, if you have enough air, you will have hotter flame and that for the boil, boiling rate, kung hotter ang imuhang flame, mupaspas po ang pag-boil. But if you close the valve, you limit the oxygen supply. That means na um, there will be uh, incomplete combustion and that the flame will be less hot. Thus, the boiling rate will also decrease. That's the effect of the valve, the the what's it, the air hole kung i-close or i-open ni mo siya. Okay? You may ask questions if you have questions, ha? So, what would happen to a lit Bunsen burner if? So, na, naka, ano na, na turn on na yung Bunsen burner. So, what will happen if all the air in the room was sucked out? Walay air. Now, Take note, combustion cannot happen without oxygen. So if all the air was sucked out in a room, then mapalong yun glass, maturn off yun ang atuang Bunsen burner. So ang naproduce na flame, mawala na siya pag walay air. Now the main gas valve turned off. The main gas valve is our source of the gas. Now, Mauman na siya ang ginasunog, di ba, to produce the flame. So if you turn that off, syempre wala na kay gas supply and that the Bunsen burner will also cease to operate. Ma-off ma pud, mawala pud ang um, kalayo, okay, ang flame. Next, um, what would happen to a lit Bunsen burner if the amount of air in the room is doubled? So more supply of oxygen means... Um, the more makomplete ang, ang combustion and then the more ka makaproduce o hotter flame. The blue flame is hotter ha compared to the yellow flame. So magsaba man na siya ang, ang Bunsen burner class if you will have more oxygen. Pero you will have the blue flame. Okay? Now effect of air supply on boiling rate i'll be showing a video later for this just remember that if you fully close the bunsen burner you will have a luminous flame the color of luminous flame is yellow it is less hot and unstable na siya actually dako na siya ng flame nga magsigig move mo nang ginamin sa unstable and then pag i-open mo siya fully then you will have a blue flame. We call it non-luminous flame. And it's hot. It's very hot. It's actually stable. Unlike the yellow flame na constantly nag-move, si blue flame is actually stable. Wala siya nag-move. Naga and dili kayo siya visible. Um, Mura siya transparent. Like you can actually see the flame na color blue. If half open siya, um, there will be 
combination of a yellow flame and a blue flame for that. So again, later we'll, uh, I hope I can show you a video for this. Later na lang na siya, ha? Now from your observations, what can you determine is the relationship between the air intake and the time to take it takes to boil the water. I think I have mentioned this a while ago. If you open the air hole and you have enough supply of oxygen, you will have a blue flame and it is hotter. So for the boiling of water, it will have a faster rate. You will have a faster rate for this. Now that is the, uh, um, the complete opposite. If you close the air hole, you will have no supply of oxygen. You might not have a flame if you if you close the air hole. Pwede na siya mahitabo. But kung naay gamay nga supply sa oxygen class, you will have the yellow flame. It's less hot. So dugay put magboil ang imuhang water. Now for this one though, sadly we cannot really do this inside the laboratory but I think even if we cannot do this, you will you know what will happen if you boil a chocolate and an egg white. So for the chocolate, even if you add, uh, if you place this in boiling water, we all know that it will melt. So mag liquefy siya. But actually after, after cooling it, it will just go back to its solidness state. So chocolate gihapon siya no ang liquid o ang solid chocolate gihapon so it is a physical change so physical change lang siya and that when you say physical change it is most likely reversible so you can turn back the solid solid chocolate to liquid and liquid to solid but for the egg white um, if you boil the egg white in water, the egg white will actually solidify and it will remain solid even after cooling. And though it is still an egg, pero there is, um, there is the breakage of bonds between the proteins sa egg. So muna siya nga nag-solidify and you cannot um, reverse it. Dili na ni mo siya mabalik sa iyahang original state. So it's a chemical change. And again, irreversible. So that is our supposedly experiment sa laboratory experiment number one. Now, let me check if I have a video here. Wait lang, ha? Hi, everyone. So today... Wait lang. This is actually called adjusting the Bunsen burner. Let's see. Today we're going to look at what happens when we adjust the Bunsen burner or how we adjust the Bunsen burner. And there's a page in your booklet. It's called using your Bunsen burner and there's a table that you need to fill in at the bottom. So just before we start, I want you just to refresh your memory with the parts of the Bunsen burner that we looked at in one of the other videos. Just even pause the video now and check that you're happy with those names because I'm going to talk about those in the video today. Okay, it's the part of the Bunsen burner. Okay, so the gas is turned on and we're ready to light the Bunsen burner. So you remember from our previous video that you have the air hole almost closed. Okay, then we get either you or your partner turn the gas on, stand back, arm out straight and click the lighter. Okay, so... We're going to have a look at the new booklet. It says about three different flames with the air hole closed, half open and fully open. So we're going to start with the air hole closed. And remember I said before about when we're turning our collar, make sure we only touch the metal bit of the collar and don't cover the air hole with our fingers. Okay, so there's the air hole closed. Have a look at the flame. We need to talk about the height of the flame. If I move the camera a wee bit, see how tall the flame is? The colour of the flame. So yellow, right? Any sound. It's the luminous so this one is called the safety flame. It's unstable. It's constantly really like a move. Safe. That's close, huh? And it's more really that close. You'll, you'll see later on in the video some of the other flames are more difficult to see. So if your Bunsen burner is on in your table, it should be on the safety flame if you're not using the Bunsen burner. So that other people are aware of it. Now, what you maybe see when you're in class, or what your teacher maybe show you, is that if you look up at the top, there's quite a lot of soot coming off. It's quite a sooty flame. So it's not really useful in science for doing heating things, but it's more just for safety so we can see it. Okay, so now we're going to adjust the air hole until, or adjust the collar until the air hole is half open. We'll do it slowly so you can see. 
Okay, so there's it half open. So what about the height of the flame? Did it get smaller? Did it get taller? Well, how would you describe the height? In terms of the color of it, it's gonna be hard to see. If I put a white piece of paper behind it, and then it's that easier to see, is it? So it's blue at the bottom, and then there's little yellow tips on top. And again, it's not making a sound. We use this, it's a, a lower temperature, so we use this for heating liquids and science. Okay, and then if I carefully adjust the air hose, so it's fully open. Go this way. Okay, can you see it? So what's happened to the height of it? Can you hear the noise it's making? This is called the roaring flame. And it's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's two blue cones. There's a darker blue cone, and then there's a smaller light blue cone. But can you see, comparing this to the safety flame, it's a lot more difficult to see. So that's why if we're leaving a Budson unattended, we always have the safety flame on because it's hard to see this one, especially in a bright day like today. We use this, this is a roaring flame, we use this to heat solids. This is the highest temperature flame that we have. Hopefully you can hear the roar coming off it, the roaring flame. So hopefully you've got all the information you need to fill in that table in your booklet. If you're not sure, just rewind the video and have a look again. Okay, so that is class um, in adjusting the Bunsen burner, opening and closing the Bunsen burner will produce different types of flames. If you fully close the Bunsen burner, you will have a tall flame. It's color yellow and it's unstable and it's actually less hot. So in chemistry laboratory, we don't really use the, the yellow flame sa pag-boil. Lugay kay mo boil class ang atong i-boil kung close ang atong Bunsen burner. Now, if you open it, um, three-fourths na open, um, you will still have a yellow flame for that, pero it's less tall. It's less tall compared to the fully closed. And it's... Um, Less unstable also, but definitely that is still a yellow flame. If you open it half, the half open ni mo ang imuhang air hole, you will have actually a blue flame, but the tip is um, color yellow. Pero it definitely, it's still hot. So, muna siya, pwede nato siya gamiton during boiling or during heating in any laboratory experiment. Um, it's, it's less tall compared to the fully closed one though. But if you really open the air hole, mugamay yun ang flame class, but definitely it is stable and it's the, the hottest, hottest na, na flame na maproduce sa Bunsen burner. So, mo lang to siya ang comparison sa different flames na maproduce if you open or close the air hole. So, that is supposedly our experiment for Chem 101 sa laboratory. Do you have questions for experiment number 7? Ay, experiment number 1 yun. Naglibog ko na activity 1 of experiment 1. Ex activity 7 of experiment 1. Any question? Alin doon ang hindi naintindihan? Wala. So you have to review the parts of the Bunsen burner ha, and you have to be familiar on how to operate the Bunsen burner. Paano siya i-set up, paano siya i-turn on, i-turn off, and the different types of flames also. Mano ang inyuhang dapat ma-familiarize. Wala questions or clarifications? Our reporters, do you have questions or clarifications also? None, but Okay.